Holy cannoli, y'all. Do you want to hear a funny story? I gotta tell you something funny. I'm supposed to be live at three o'clock. I keep looking at my watch, right? I keep looking at my watch and it keeps saying 20 till. I keep looking at it. I don't think anything of it. Dina Harris, you're my first watcher. I'm not kidding y'all. My watch stopped like 20 minutes ago. Oh my word. Dina, make sure I have your mailing address. I'll send you some happy mail. Holy cannoli, I thought it was like 20 to three and I'm like, I got all kinds of time. And I'm talking to my husband just now, and I'm like, oh my God, it's 3.02, I've gotta go, I've gotta go. What's up, Shelly and Vicki and Rhonda, Michelle, Regine, Mima, what's going on everyone? Thank you for being here, Royal Funky Junks in the house. I've got a cool silver tray makeover, you know I love doing these. I'm actually making this for a girlfriend of mine for Christmas. Thank you, Lisa, I got on a sparkle shirt, you all know. I haven't been sparkly. We had a crazy weekend, getting ready. I'm helping my stepdaughter move into a new salon spot that she is uh, leasing. Helped her paint all weekend. We were there last night. Hello, Catalina from Mexico. Wrapping gifts, Christmas shopping, doing all the things, cleaning my house. I finished decorating finally. It's just been nonstop chaos for like the last week. I know you guys all know that feeling. I wrote a blog post on it because it's been crazy. Michelle, you sent you, know, I'm only three minutes late. And I was like, and look at my watch. It's moving though, but it's the weirdest thing. It's not right. Either that or I didn't notice it, that it was just the wrong time. You know, how we roll over here at Royal Funky Junk. So anyway, um, I'm going to pull you up on my phone so I can know you guys what you're looking at. Hi, Rebecca. What's up, Lisa? Thank you guys for sparkling. Jeez, I feel like a total dodo now. Anyway, how is everybody? I miss you guys. I miss being on with you all the time, and I know it's been crazy. How is how was your weekend, everyone? Thank you, Pam, for the stars. How was everybody's weekend? Uh, I feel like a, a, a hey, Dee Dee. I feel like I'm in a, a hot mess lately. Kids running around here and there. Oh, anyway, what's going on, Facebook world? I am trying to pull up my live just so I know what y'all are looking at. There we go. There I am. What's going on? All right. You want to know that that's all that matters is indeed correct. So today I got a bunch of cool new Would You Bend Posh Chalk stuff. Big shout out to Sally from Would You Bend and all the peeps over there. Um, I just did this tray, I was playing around. I got some cool stuff, so I'm like, we're, we're doing it. We're gonna make some cool, we're gonna make a cool tray. I'm making this for my girlfriend as a Christmas gift. Her favorite color is teal, so I found this paper. Dana, I know I've been getting ready for Christmas. It feels like for the past two weeks, it's been go, 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 and everything thrown in between. Uh, my dad, you know, uh, now my stepdaughter's, uh, doing her thing so I've been helping her um it's been a little crazy as you guys know it's like tis the season right I want to make sure I'm getting comments on my iPad I don't know that I am somebody drop me a comment um is everybody ready for Christmas oh my gosh Julie I am praying for you sister you just had heart surgery you just had surgery to put a port in my jeez I hope big prayers to you sister Hey, Dana, did you like watching my brother-in-law? That was great, wasn't it? I told him all about what you've been to. I'm like, Matthew, you got to get some of this stuff. I know. I'm usually so ready and decorated by like weeks before Christmas. Like my foyer right now has an entire pile of boxes for, that's got to go to Carly's salon. We got to go there later to take care of that. Um, I'm usually never this far behind. Um, oh, Sheila, that's yucky. I know a couple people in my family have it. I'm praying to gosh we're all good by the holiday weekend. We're having Christmas here. I hope you guys all have a fabulous holiday. He did, didn't he, Shelly? Did you ever get in touch with him, Shelly, about that piece? Oh, yes, it's going to be cold. I think we're getting a big storm Friday into Saturday. Not looking forward to that, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have a white Christmas, which we haven't had one here in quite a few years. Um, hey, Elizabeth Bauer, what's going on? Um, hi, Nancy. Uh, Josie, I'm so jealous you're going to Vegas. Aren't you the lucky dog? That would be amazing. Uh, oh, Nancy, you guys are so funny. I think I'm seeing different comments on my phone compared to my iPad. So I'll just, I'll, I'll watch replay. I'll try to get um, everybody 
Um, if you have any questions, just call me or uh, message me. But I'm using a tray that I picked up when I was thrifting. Um, I'm using everything is from Would You Bend. You can find the Would You Bend link here, my link tree. It's Would You Bend and Posh Chalk uh, items that I'm using. Amazing. Um, I So I just played around. I did a tray yesterday. Super cool stuff. I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, Shelly, I will get with him. Uh, Mary, I'm praying for everybody who's not feeling good. I know the flu and COVID is going around, so you guys stay safe, stay healthy, um, and do all the things that keep you healthy. Uh, thank you, Dana. If you guys like my top, it is from Zigzag Stripe Boutique, so you can find them on Facebook. Uh, Victoria, I'm in Ohio, United States, and uh, a little northeast of Cleveland, a little suburb. The tray is fabulous. Can you guys see it? It's just an old silver footed tray. It's not real silver, probably. It's and I don't care if it is. I'm going to paint it anyway. Um, so tell him to go read his. He probably doesn't know how to, Shelly. Um, I'm still um, still working it out. Are you decorating for Vin? Heck no, Kathy. Um, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to get ready for Christmas. I just started wrapping um, Christmas gifts last night. So, you know. All right, I think I can go down just a little bit further. But Shelly, yes, I will tell him. So I think you guys can see okay. I look like the top of my head is cut off, but when I look at my iPad or my phone, I, I think you guys can see me. Um, Barbara, I don't really have any shopping. You can go to my link tree and type in uh, Shop Funky Junk or go to my um, Shopify store. I have some t-shirts and stuff listed there. Um, I'm getting ready to drop, I think tomorrow, some amazing bling tumblers. Mm-hmm. So be on the lookout for those. I will show you guys after we are done with this live. Um, I'll show you all the ones I got. I have about 30 in stock. Um, and then the new year, they're coming out with a new line. So I'll have to restock then. Uh, see how this little bit goes. Um, anyhow, I just saw new red banner. What? I don't know what that means, Kathy. Anyhow, Sully's in the house. What's up, sister? Um... And I'm still wrapping. I did. I was up till midnight last night wrapping. My husband's like, I'm not feeling the love. And I'm like, dude, I've got a ton of stuff going on. You know I love you. Um, so anyway, all right. Oh my gosh, Shelly, I don't want 10 inches, but that's what I heard. I think they lessened it a little bit, but I don't want 10 inches of snow, that's for sure. Okay, so first thing off, this is the paper we're gonna use. This is from Would You Bend, isn't this pretty? I'm gonna use the whole thing. I've got an idea to cover up this line because I kind of have an idea for this tray. I kind of want to make it like a, almost like a, a charcuterie board, like cheese and wine or cheese and crackers and kind of cut it in half. So I'm gonna use some Would You Bend pieces to cover that strip. I am gonna paint it and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to paint it because it's pretty cool. I have never used this stuff until today. This is the Posh Chalk Metallic Paste. Oh my word, y'all. It's like paste, paint, and a wash all in one. Hi, Peggy. There you go. Brittany's in the house. That's my admin, my daughter-in-law. Debbie, I know the tumblers are gorgeous. I'll show you those at the end. Um, so this is metallic, uh, posh chalk metallic paste. Um, don't ask me to read the color. I don't know that it has a color. It's just like white. There you go. Um, anyhow. I have to say, I love this shirt, but it's kind of scratchy. Have you ever had a scratchy shirt like that? Uh, Lisa, the tumblers are not on my page yet. I'm, they're going to be on my Shopify, but they're not on there yet. So, oh, wait a minute. I did. I, I just used this stuff before, so I kind of saved all my brushes. Um, okay. Making all kinds of noise over here. Uh, anyhow... I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Tuesday. So I have cleaned this. It's all clean and ready to go. You don't need to prime it. You take this paste right here and I'm going to grab another brush. That other one? Oh, oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. See, I'm totally out of it. I thought I had 20 minutes to get ready and here I was late because I roll like that. Um, I know I can't wait to show them to you guys too. I... Thank you, Sally. Michelle, you already have six inches of snow. That is no good. All right, so this is a uh, posh chalk brush. Loving it. I had it soaking in some water. 
Um, that's a good idea. It just seems to be itchy like up here, just a little bit up here. Um, okay, so this is awesome. If you just put it on, which I experimented with before, it's a little um, thick. So what I did was I have just like this spritzer and I just sprayed it on my tray, okay? And all I did was just kind of spread it on and I'm not even trying to like make it super heavy, but being that we're gonna decoupage, I want to have a nice white surface underneath there. So I just keep taking some of that paste. Um, good morning from Australia. What time is it there? It's 3 p.m. Eastern here. I don't, that would be, you guys are like early in the morning, right? I think you're like ahead of us. Good day, mate. My husband always talks to me in, a, in an Australian voice. Or he tries. He may not sound Australian at all, but he does do funny voices. And Australian just happens to be one of the ones he loves. All right, so I just have a simple coat on there. And if you didn't water it down, it would just be a little bit more, like, thicky, thicker and sticky. Hi, Judy Davis. What's going on? How are you? So I am going to give it probably another coat, but this stuff dries really super fast. And um, you can even, Sally, correct me if I'm wrong, this is like good for outdoors. This is like outdoors strong. Um, Laura Lee, I don't really know what the difference with paste versus paint, but if you water this paste down, it works like a paint. And then if you water it down even more, it'll work like a wash. So um, it's pretty cool stuff. They have a bunch of different colors. I have it stocked up here on my shelves. They have a bunch of different colors. Um, Mike does. I know, right? So I like it. Like I said, this is the first time I have done, I have used these um, Posh Chalk paints. And I'm like super stinking excited to be working with Would You Bend. And you already know I love my Would You Bend. So this is the first time that I've actually used their, their paste. Um, and I'm not going to lie. They're pretty incredible. You know me. And you're going to see, I think... I just did this tray like an hour ago. It literally took me like no time at all. And um, it's kind of exciting stuff. So I just kind of even just wet your brush a little bit. And that's just going to um, kind of spread it around more. And I love trying new products. And especially, you know, when they're fabulous like this. Now, if I wanted this to be heavier, I could put it on heavier. But like when I did this one behind me, just two coats is what I did seem to do the trick and it was perfect um, just light enough and bright enough underneath to really pop that paper yes it's like outdoor strong oh you went to zigzag stripe I know it's zigzag stripe because it's on the collar zigzag stripe so I don't know um, I probably got this I probably got this uh, a couple months ago. It was, you know what? I got it before we had the Sparkle Retreat in Oklahoma. I know that. Right around that time. So maybe they don't have it anymore. Hi, Sandy. What's going on, sister? 6.14 a.m. in Queensland. Amazing. You know what's funny? Australians... I always watch the 60 Minutes. I'm a big, like, crime network guru. I love crime TV. And I always watch the ones in Australia because I love the way y'all talk. Um, I am going to resin this tray, Mickey. Yes, I am. I even got my resin and my gloves out at the end because what I want to do is I want to make this food safe so she could put, you know, oh, so she could put, like, you know, cheese and crackers or whatever but see so it's just kind of like a this almost is like a wash because I did um mix it with the water um what's next okay so now I'm gonna bring out my paper and this is uh from would you it's called the Tuscan Rosa Tuscan Rosa it's really pretty I love this color if you love teal you're gonna love this uh, you like those? I know I do too. So now that it has this line in here, I'm going to go ahead and work with this line because I have an idea in my brain. 
So I'm just going to kind of line it up to these little center notches here, and I'm just going to kind of fold the paper around like that. And then I'm going to grab my water pen and of course there's no water in it. Why would there be, right? This is my life story. Um, I'm going to take another brush and get some water. And I guess I'm just going to use a brush like that. And all I'm doing is just using a regular brush because my water pen, sometimes those aren't, they don't hold that much water. And I'm just kind of going around the edge of that frame where I kind of measured it out with my fingernail. And now I kind of have a template as to where I can go around and just kind of cut it. And I don't want to use scissors because I don't want that hard line. Just hold on to your paper because you want to make sure you're ripping in the right place. Thank you, Sally, for the stars. Uh, yes, it is rice paper. It's rice paper from Would You Bend? And if you want, I have the, I have some other uh, designs here I can show you at the end of the video. Okay. And I think it went like this. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, oh, look at how perfect that is. So see, I know it looks a little janky right now, but I think it'll be, what is a water pen without water exactly? Ripping that paper, it is, it even sounds good. I, I watch weird things like that on TV. So now I'm gonna take the Posh Chalk, uh, it's called Pigment Infuser. You can use this for a number of things. It's a great like decoupage medium. Um, you can use it for um, your pigments. I'm gonna, gonna use some of those too. Um, I need to get a good brush. I need brushes, y'all, so bad. I need to wash my brushes. I'm so lazy when it comes to washing my stinking brushes. I don't know what the dealio is. I think I'm just gonna use the same brush. Big Daddy's in the house. There he is, what's up, sugar? I was just telling everybody how much I love you. Big days in the house. All right, so I'm going to take this Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser, and I'm just going to brush it on to the base. It is a great, um, it's a great uh, decoupage medium. All right, so I'm going to do that. Get that on, keep it nice and wet, and I'm gonna take this paper and I'm just going to lay it down. And this is thin, it's almost like a tissue paper, but you know me, I don't stress too much about wrinkles and bubbles and all that stuff, I just, Kind of roll with it. And then if I see a couple of uh, weird looking things, just grab oh, something smooth and you can kind of like smooth that out. Even plastic, where's that? Even paper. Paper sometimes works. Just to kind of go over it and smooth it out with your uh -huh. fingernail. Bye baby. Love you. Love you too. This is my son. Say hi. There's hi. Sammy Bammy. Why is your camera so low this time? Because look at my phone though. That's what they see. Oh my god. Can I put it on here? 814 people are watching. He loves to know how many people are watching me. From where? He thinks I'm, I'm they think I'm cringy. Don't tell people you're a YouTuber or an influencer. I never say that. I told you about your Uh I don't have wax paper. I uh, need to get you. some. Bye, babe. I love you too. Um, let me see. Let me do this. Uh, let's see. I need a piece of paper. A piece of plastic always works good. 
just to kind of smooth out the edges. And I think that's actually pretty good. I don't mind wrinkles on my, my decoupage. Um, I've never really been one to worry too much about it. Uh, but, oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty already? I can tell I got it a little off-centered because, you know, that's how I roll. I didn't see, I, I think too fast. Um, I should have had this line going from end to end, but, you know, I didn't even think about it. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, it'll be a little off center. It'll be a little perfectly imperfect, and that's okay. Um, so now that I have this on, I'm going to take my infuser once again, and I'm just going to apply that all over this paper because we want to seal that down. And you want to make sure you get all the way around the edging. Like amazing stuff. I'm gonna get all the way around there. I hope this looks as good as it does in my head. I think it's going to be. I think it's gonna be really cool. And I'm making sure I'm getting all the way, wherever I, you know, you wanna make sure you get all the way to the edge because you don't want that. You wanna make sure that all your edges are sealed, I guess is what I'm trying to say. San Diego. I bet it's warm in San Diego. Doesn't it look like the ocean kind of a little bit? Thank you, Janet, for the stars. All right, so now, what do I wanna do? I think what I'm gonna do is, I wanna kind of blend out these colors to make them uh, go up the sides of the tray. I might do blue all the way around, or green, or a little bit of white, even though I can't draw flowers. Um, thank you, Sally, for the stars. Yeah, I love these colors, so I think it's gonna be really pretty. Um, let that dry up some. And this is where like the cool stuff happens. Like I did that tray back there and I just like kind of played around with um, blending. And y'all, if you've ever seen me paint furniture, you know I'm not really a good blender. And I don't know my color wheel from a hole in the ground, seriously. But I just kind of winged it. And that's the whole like fun of just like being creative. So, okay. So I wanna kind of blend out these colors so I'm gonna take some other paste, and then they also have some patina, they have the pigments, but I'm gonna use this color. I might have to darken it up with something. Okay, so this is where you guys are gonna have to help me. If I wanna make this more teal, what color am I gonna have to add to it? I don't know, let's just wing it. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this paste. Um, this is the metallic paste. I don't know that it has a color on it, it's just like green. I mean, you can't, you get it? Hey, from Indiana. Um, and I'm just going to take like a brush that I had used before. Or maybe just a little dauber brush. That's my blendy brush. I've got some other brushes here. Here's another one. Um, yes, I'm using the Tus T Tusca Rose they add blue. Okay, so I have a little bit of this blue. But anyway, let's just try this because that's the whole fun. So I'm just going to leave it as a paste. And then I'm going to kind of do what I did on that tray. I'm going to pick that part right there. And all I'm going to do is kind of, now see that is a little green. But I'm just going to dab it on there. And then you're telling me if I want to get more blue, I add blue. Are you, are you sure? Add blue. What's blue going to do? Well, see, this is where you can't really get in trouble with it. Just try it. Oh, yeah. Yes, look at that. See, we're all about trying new things here. I mean, it worked. And you get like a little two-tone look, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to start, go back to my green. Right where I have like this green. And I don't even, I mean, just, and then just add in a little bit of blue. This is where it gets, uh, exciting just to play yes this is posh chalk um and then i came in with my little blendy blendy brush i just kind of got it a little bit wet 
And then you can just sit here and just kind of, I don't know, blend. It doesn't have to be perfect to me. Um, I just wanted to like play around a little bit. And the only way you're going to get familiar with a product is if, right on, you use it. And you can bring it down here to match all this stuff over here. But that's not half bad. It got a little bit more green, but I'm okay with that because I want to add other colors into here too. So now I'm going to find where there is other bits of green that are coming up, um, you know, off the side of this paper. And I want it to kind of like flow and just kind of, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. But yes, these are all posh chalk, posh chalk, um, posh chalk uh, metallic pastes. And they have regular pastes. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Just go check it out, y'all. Um, I'm going to bring it around here. Now, so you can tell that's like super green, but when I do add that blue, it kind of gets, it kind of gets like that matchy matchy more. And you can just keep building it and playing around with it until you get the color that you like. I don't think there's really a ready wrong or way. Blendy blendy brush. You know, yeah, it is a technical term. Can I have a blendy blendy brush? I think. Okay. So see how, I know it looks janky right now, but see how we're just kind of moving the color around. And then I take my wet brush over here and just give it a little spray and then kind of just blend it out. Dab it a little bit. And you can even bring that color down into here. See, it looks kind of cool, right? It's all different. I don't want it to be the same. I want it to have its own unique vibe to it. I think this needs a little bit more blue in here. And then you can come back in with your little blendy blendy brush. And until you just, I don't know. For me, the best way to get used to a product, product is to just um, play with it. I just sprayed water, Teresa. It's just water makes it less sticky and kind of spreads it out more. Or you can just even put a little bit of water on your brush and it just it just helps the colors blend, kind of thins it out a little bit. So you can really blend it even more. See? It kind of looks like water. It kind of looks like lilies on water, doesn't it? All right, so now over here. I know I have a little bit of green. Um, I don't know if there is a dark green. Yes, there is. Yes. Boy, they have thought of everything. So now where I see a little bit of this green, I can add in a little bit more like over here where we have that green. Um, and this is like, oh, there is colors. It's on the bottom. This is green dark and this is a metallic paste. It's cool, right? I mean, I like cool stuff. All right, so I'm just take my same brush. I need a shirt like my brother-in-law has. He just wipes it right on his shirt, right? And I'm just going right in, directly right into the paste, and, and then we can tweak it from there. So I'm just going to kind of hit a little bit over here where this green is, where these leafy greens are. Maybe add, even add in some yellow. I don't know. And then a little bit over here. And then maybe a little over here. I don't know. And then I think what I'm going to do is kind of blend out where all these white flowers are. I guess I'm going to try to blend that out with just some white and then maybe, oh, uh, I don't know, some silver. There's some green here. So see how I'm just doing that? I just kind of took that other green and just kind of tweaked it a little bit. Just a little bit of green over here. Trying to make it look like so it all flows out. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of water back to my blendy blendy spray, and I'm just gonna give it a little spray, and then I'm just going to kind of blend that paint out, or even just putting a little bit of spray on your brush, and I just kind of move it all around. And you can blend it into the other colors, so it kind of like all, Kind of flows into each other. And this is just water. It's like a little spritzer bottle. So see where I'm going? It doesn't make sense yet, but it's just kind of cool anyway, right? So 
Now I need to add in some of that white. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of green. Um, a little bit of green with the white. Okay. Yeah, it's like, this is, I feel like a true artist now. <laughs> oh, Shelly, I bet that sounds amazing. Hey, Vale. Hey, Therese. It is, and the colors like are awesome. I, I, one of my uh, chicks sent me a color wheel. I got a, uh, I got a, I think it was in an email. I got to send it out. I got a, and I got a Happy Mail to open too. If you guys want to open Happy Mail at the end of the, because uh, um, who knows what the week is going to bring? You know, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this white paste, um, and I am going to go in with just the same yucky brush. Like so, I'm just gonna kind of rinse it off. But if I get a little bit of other colors up in that white, that's fine. Sally, thank you. Hey, Audra. Ah, okay, so I'm just going into that white. And because these flowers are white, I kind of just, I'm thinking about, now see, it's got some other colors in there. So let me rinse this off. What is this scent? This is a transfer or rice paper. It's a uh, rice paper, R right, Sally? Is it rice paper? Or is it tissue paper? I think it's rice paper. Feels like rice paper. Hey, Sherry. What's up, Elizabeth? All right, so I'm gonna go back into my white and I'm just going to kind of dab. Now it's gonna have, it has a little bit of that green coming through, but I think it kind of looks cool. I'm just trying to match where I had the white so it all kind of flows. And I can even put a little bit of brown in there, I think, to blend that out, to try to make it look like a flower. I don't paint objects, y'all. I'm not a painter. I mean, I can paint, but I just don't, I don't paint things. I don't paint pictures, I guess is what you should say. <gasps> I'm digging it. See, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just, it kind of looks like the flowers are like fading out into, I don't know, kind of like a murky sea or something, you know? And then you can just come in here and just blend some colors to make it however you, I don't know, however you want. Like I said, there's really no right or wrong way. I'm just trying to blend all that out. It's almost like rena, is that the right word, like renaissance? Mary, it's cold here too, sister. I feel your pain. Is it like renaissance, kind of? know like what do they call it like it like soft and water colored I don't know maybe I'm not making any sense I know I'm making all kinds so I'm just trying to blend out where that white was and it doesn't have to be perfectly blended I just kind of want it to be a little soft Kind of all just flow into each other. <gasps> I think it looks good, y'all. Does that look cool? I'm digging it. All right, so we have that. Now to cover up this this line, okay? Let me put the lids back on everything because I am prone to um, dropping things and spilling things and impressionism. Matt, that's why I told my brother-in-law. I'm like Matt, you got to try out some of this. Um, would you bend stuff and posh chalk? I think he would love using this stuff. Um, anyhow, okay, so let me try this real quick. I impress myself sometimes, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of impressed with my my uh, my my ability here. Where's another brush? I kind of want to get rid of that. Just a little bit. soften that up just a little bit um yeah I'm kind of impressed with myself that's when you know you've done good like you got a good like you, when you excite yourself over a piece of work hey Mona okay see you later okay so now got this look how pretty that is now to cover up this line 
I'm going to use some Would You Bend. And what I was planning on is making like a two-tiered, not a two-tiered, like a half tray. So I know I want to, I want to heat this piece up because we're going to end up cutting it. And you just want to heat it up pretty good. I think I have wood glue. I do. Not a lot. i got to get some more wood glue. And when you heat these pieces of Would You Bend up, they get soft. It's really sinking cool. You guys have seen me use this before. So I'm just going to heat this up and you can see that it starts to bend. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take and I want to put this on that line. So I'm going to cut this little loop-de-loo off here um, and I think what I want to do is just kind of go right around like that and then you the great thing about would you bend um, you can sand it because it's wood and you can shape it Kind of like so it's soft. Um, so I want to take this. I know I want to put this like here. And what I want to do is I'm going to cover up. You guessed it. I'm going to cover up that line. Okay. To the best of my ability. I kind of wanted a little curly cued. But we can get in there with some of that paint. So see it's going to be like a half and half kind of picture. And then the other piece I was going to... Where was I going to meet it here? Now I'm trying to remember what I was going to do. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna play for a minute. Hold on. Actually, maybe I'll cut it there and then cut it there. Or do I flip it? Leave that there. And then make that. Kind of like that way. So then I'm going to need to cut this little piece off over here. Okay. So to cut it, I do want to heat it up. And I'm just using a straight edge. Like that, save your little pieces because you can use those on another project. And then it'll sand itself right down. And then I think that will go there like that. And this is where I'm going to have to tweak that line. We're going to have to cover up that line with some other paint because, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do is cut this piece right down here and see if we can make that fit. I know it looks janky right now, but trust me, it won't. I promise. I'm just going to cut this one here. Stuff gets hot too, be careful. It like gets a little heated. Where's my sanding block? Are you guys liking it so far? Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. Okay. And then I think, you know, once you get the wood you bend heated up, we can squish this. See, we can make that go and then we can cover up that line. I kind of like the way that looks or do I want it to go like so? Kind of like that too. Or do I go so? I don't really think it matters y'all so we're going to go like this. So I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to grab some wood glue. Always want to use wood glue on your wood you bend. It will not stick. You don't want hot glue or you don't want uh you don't want um you don't want uh hot glue. 
because hot glue has a thickness to it and it just, it, it won't work. You want this to lay flat. This is gonna lay flat. If you get a little bit of glue seeping out, don't worry about it, you're gonna paint it anyway. Don't sweat the small stuff, folks. Don't sweat the small stuff. And I'm going to put this right here. I'm gonna eyeball it, just like so. Press it down. Heat it up, because that's gonna help set that glue. And just really, and this is where you can play around with the shape of it and just let it, let it, let it go, let it go. And then I can, you can go around here and take any little glue blobs or whatever you got going on over there, um, if you, if they bug you. Um, so just let that sit and it will dry in just a few minutes. I say blend the kind with the paint. I'm good. I think we're going to, well, I'm not done yet, folks. I have a, I have a vision. I have a vision. Okay. Which that is going to be fine. And I'm literally in just a few minutes, it starts to set. And we can go right on to the next one. So which way did I say I was going to put this? Like that? Or are we doing like that? Kind of like that. It doesn't have, it could be whatever. And even though I'm putting this on a flat surface, you still want to heat it up. Yes, you can stretch them out, you can squish them together, you can move these pieces. I mean, it's it's amazing and it smells it smells really good too. Ain't gonna lie. It smells really good. I use um gorilla wood glue. Um, but I know you can just any kind of wood glue. You just don't want to use hot glue. You don't want to use um you know, you don't want to use hot glue for sure. Um, but being that it is wood, this is actual little wood pieces, or I don't know how it's made, but it's wood. So therefore, no matter what surface you put it on, you want to use, um, is that what I said or did I say like that? I think like this, right? You want to make sure that you're using uh, wood glue. So you get it down. And then I'm going to heat it up. See, like this is still warm. If I wanted to move this up, I can move it um, until that glue sets. You're pretty golden with where you can go. You can kind of play with it until you get it just right where you want it. Yes, I like any kind of good good quality wood glue. Yes, I like the Gorilla Glue. Oops, I see I'm moving it all around. Gosh dang, nabbit. Getting talking to myself over here. I lose track of what I'm doing. But see, it's not set yet, so you can get the dog hair out of there. We don't want the dog hair in there. But it happens because my dog is always in my room. Okay. So see, I know it looks weird right now, but, okay, it's going to be like a double-sided tray. Um, so now what I want to do with this, this inside part, and even on the outside, I'm going to do gold. I'm going to paint all this gold, and then I want to go over it with some, um, the patina. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of the pigments, and the pigments are really cool. I know some of you have used them. They're really fun, and they come in so many stinking colors. Um, so I'm going to grab a paper plate, and I'm going to show you. I have used the patinas before. So I'm going to use um, Byzantine gold, okay? Actually, I might even use a different, where's that other gold? I might use, um, Byzantine gold is what I did over there, and I think I want it brighter. So I think I'm going to use... the pale gold so you're going to take 
a little bit of this. These are the Poshchalk pigments. And all I do is take like a little spoonful and drop it onto a paper plate like so or whatever a little cup if you're more organized than I am and I want to get a brush I guess this will do this one's this one's good okay and then you're gonna take that posh chalk infuser okay yes Sandy I am why do you want it okay um, I'm going to take a little bit of the Posh Chalk Infuser and I'm just going to kind of pour it on there, okay? And then you just take it and you stir it together. And you just kind of be careful because that, that, that dust, those pigments are super, super fine. And you don't want them blowing in the wind. And you're just going to keep mixing it, mixing it. There's the dogs. Got real life over here, Pete. Um, and you're just gonna mix it all up. If it's too rocky, if it's rocky, if it's too rocky, <laughs> if it's too uh, thick, come here, lay down. You just keep adding your infuser and stir it and talk over the dog. It doesn't match, it doesn't match my decor. My girlfriend, um, her, her favorite color is teal, and it's all she has in her house. Rocky Balboa, stop it. I think All right, that's enough. Go lay down. You want a pecan? Yeah, I'll get him to shut up. Okay. Shelly, it matches yours. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, and you see what I mean? Look at all that. It's like liquid gold, but it's better. Um, anyhow, stop it. Oh my gosh, if it's not one dog, it's the other. This is what they do, they feed off of each other. Okay, so now, can you believe it? I am just going to start painting all this fancy trim. Uh, we just talk over the Oh my word, y'all. And I'm gonna give this kind of a heavy uh, uh, coat. Not. I'm not gonna like be super, you know, if it, some of that green or whatever comes through, I'm fine with that too, but oh my gosh, check it out, y'all. Um, I'm just kind of going over, even going to do the handle, and if some of that white comes through, I'm okay with that too. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm just kind of, I don't want to say I'm dry brushing it, but I'm definitely, look at that, gorgeous. Doggies went to, uh, doggies went to, uh, use the pigments too. No. So, like I said, I'm not trying to cover, like, all of this up. I'm just going over. Some of that green and some of those other colors are still coming through. That's okay, because I'm going to keep adding. I kind of don't want this to be all solid. I'm going to kind of blend in some of those other colors onto this, um, top of this gold. Y'all, this is gorgeous. Shelly, you can come play with him. He'll probably bite you. We, we're, we have people over. We can't be near people. He, he is, he's, he's, he likes certain people and he doesn't like other people. And if he don't like you, he's going to let you know and he's going to bite you. He's a, he's, a, you, know, you don't dare walk in our bedroom. Or you don't dare walk up in this craft room if you don't know me. Because he'll go to town on you. Okay, so see how I'm just brushing that on? Oh, pretty. Okay, Sandy. Yeah, we got to get together. We got to set a date, Sandy, you, me, and Shelly. Um, um, so I'm just brushing this on. This is so pretty. I can't believe I painted this, y'all. I was all nervous doing this live, too. I knew Sally was going to be watching and sharing me out into her would you bend world. And I was like, no. Okay. Jeez, now, now my nose starts run, running. They're going to be like, who is this booger girl over here? I swear. 
Oh, she's going to love it. You're off on Monday. Hey, let me check my schedule. That might work. Um, okay. So here's what we got so far. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this center, this would you bend? I think I'm going to need my glasses for this guys. Um, he knows who the dog, yeah, he knows who the, the people are. So I, I'm not going to be careful. You just, I am going to try to cover this to the best of my ability. I want to cover up like any of the brown. But if I get a little bit on my tray too, like down here, don't sweat it, y'all. It's not that big of a deal. Because we're going to have to blend out some colors anyway to get out some of these, um, to get some of those, uh, oh, they're already dry. Um, that white line, we want to cover it up. So if I go a little bit down and it gets a little bit on my tray, then you know what? It's art. It's supposed to be somewhat perfectly imperfect. But do you see where I'm going with this? How we're going to take that and we're going to start painting it gold and it could be pretty. Oh, I just stuck my hand. Okay. I'm just doing this. Rocky. Jeez Louise. You're so annoying. That's enough. Go lay down. Who that? is right there walking in the door. Hang on a second. That's why they've all been barking. Rocky, that's enough. That's what I'm talking about. She tried to come in here and he's like, I have a And he's like, hell to the no, he ain't coming in here. All right. I'll be right with you, Kelly. Um... Man, that scared me. Do you see the kind of nonsense goes on in my house? That's what I try to tell people. Ain't nobody going to get past my dog. He's going to eat you for lunch. And he knows her, but it don't matter. When you're up here, when I'm up here, there ain't no no joking around. That scared me. I thought somebody was coming to my house. Okay. <laughs> He's very protective. Okay. So, doesn't it kind of look cool? It's kind of cool, but it's a little bright in that center, and I want to get some of that uh, teal, like here, this is a patina, and I'm going to see if we can cover up that white stripe that's going down the middle there, um, and see if I can just kind of dab that out, and then we'll put some blue on there to make it match. And I want to get rid of that little line that's going up the center. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to go back to the paste, too. Hi, Hazel. You like it? Oh, do you like the bottle? I know. I did that in my private group. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to go in with the little blue. Little blue. And I'm just trying to cover up that white line. I'm not... I mean, if you see a little bit of it, it's okay. But see how it's still there a little bit, almost like a vein. And I'm okay with that. Just I'm just trying to cover up the majority of it. If I would have planned it better, I would have covered it up. But remember, I put it on crooked turkey. So um, I'm going to have to. Rocky. Oh, God. Rock, it's okay. My goodness. Rocky, it's enough. Jeez, Louise. Uh, so, rock, I've had it. Now, go lay down or I'm going to put you in the attic. He's going to go in the warehouse. 
Um, it doesn't matter if you have a doggy treat or not. He don't like you coming in here. It's not going to work unless like, unless he knows you. It's just how it is. Um, okay. I think that's good. See how we kind of cover that up? Now, I want to take some of this patina, this green patina from Posh Chalk. Uh, Dee Dee, um, I think so. But I don't know. I haven't gotten the mail yet today. I might, I might get off of here when I'm done with this, go and grab it, and then come back up and do another live with Happy Mail and the Tumblers, if that's okay with you guys. I didn't know Kelly was coming, so, um, we might just have to make it two lives today, which I have no problem with that. I'll bring wine. Is it too early for wine? Not at all. Hey, look, at what time is it? My watch says it's 4.35. Okay, so now I want to take, do I want to use a pigment? Um, I kind of want rock. Zip it, McFly. Let me go back in here, just a little bit more gold. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add some of this green and some of that. Um, let's make another patina. Let's do this right here. Look at that pretty patina. It's kind of like a green, but what about a T-bone steak, right? That's what he needs because he's he could be like, he stresses me out sometimes because he's bit people before and it's like, I, I do not let him be around people because you just never know. He gets a bug up his butt and then you know, before you know it. So here's a little bit more of <clears throat> this infuser going on to the pigment and I'm just going to smush it together and stir it together, and I'm gonna show you guys. Kelly's probably downstairs in my living room. Hi! That's why Rocky stays up here when we have people over, because he's mean, but he loves me. It's 2.59 in Oklahoma, so it's 3.59 here. Yeah, my watch is way off. Okay, but look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So now I wanna take a little bit of this and all I'm going to do is kind of like dry brush it over just like this and just kind of bring all of that teal color to the outside as well. And I'm just being ever so slight with it. Rocky, you want a pecan? He loves pecans. Almost like a like a tarnished copper. I don't know if you guys can really tell from the screen. But see how I just added to it? Now that gold is like real bright, I'm going to do the same thing to that. And I'm just going to just kind of like wash it and tone that gold down. Rock. Oh my gosh, I think this is so pretty. This is better than what I saw in my head in the kitchen. Um, look at, do you see what I'm saying? Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Um, I don't think I'm going to epoxy this because for it to be food safe, it would have to get the epoxy all the way up here. And I think I'm just going to let it dry and kind of... Wing it. I, I'm kind of liking just the way it is now. I don't know if I'm going to like it with an epoxy shine on it. Um, but it's 22 hours in Slovenia. But seriously, do you see how we just kind of did that? What do you guys think? Now, if you wanted to add bling, because you know most of my pieces get bling, I'm thinking maybe some diamond dust, but then it's not going to be feasible for anything like this. But this might. this is just a great decorative piece on an easel and I think we did good look at how I blended out those flowers what do you guys think over here I might play around some more and give that some more teal over here I don't know but I am pretty stinking happy it's it's exactly what I pictured in my head so I hope that you all love it um if I do decide to do epoxy I would just probably do here but I think I don't know if I can do epoxy all the way up here and get it down. I've never done epoxy on like a layered surface like this. So I'll have to wait and see. But anyway, all Posh Chalk, y'all. Go check out my link tree, Posh Chalk, Would You Bend. It's amazing. 
They have just incredible products. These paste, um, my new fave, I'm not gonna lie, my new fave. And the infuser with the pigments and the patinas, you guys can't go wrong. If you're creative like me, you are going to want to go and just get yourself one of everything. Um, Sally, thank you so much for having me here um, and, and doing a demo with your amazing products. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas. And I will post a picture of this all complete and on my page later on this week when you know I get some free time. Um, I love you all and I will see you. I'll be back in just a little while. I'll do happy mail and um, I'll show you the tumblers. So um, just give me uh, like maybe half an hour and I'll, I'll jump back on for live number two. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.